Hello everyone, my name is Luis and this is going to be my second video I post up today and this is going to be a really short video. It is 7.29 p.m. at the time and this video is going to be really short uh, because I just want to talk about a topic that I kept seeing on Facebook over and over and over again. So this is about this cop that pulled over this young lady just for not having a turn signal on when she's changing the lanes. So she got pulled over and she was being cooperative but then the officer got really aggressive asked her to get out of the vehicle because she was under arrest when she didn't do anything illegal to begin uh the officer told her put up your cigarette she stated i'm in my vehicle it is my right to smoke the cigarette uh you can't make me not smoke the cigarette then the officer got really mad and asked her to step off the vehicle she said you don't have the right to take me out of my vehicle uh, against my own will and he then got more aggressive and told her to get out of the vehicle or he would yank her out of her own vehicle like really it's her car it's her rights here's the thing guys if you ever get pulled over and it's for a traffic violation then the officer is not allowed to touch you unless it is necessary but it shouldn't be necessary for him to touch you. He cannot ask you to ex uh, exit the vehicle unless they have a warrant. They cannot search your vehicle unless you have a warrant. Here's the thing, officers think that they are, at least many officers think that they are the kings of this world when they actually are not. They're just regular people like we all are. Uh, this officer just went to the extreme and knocked her down on the ground, handcuffed her, and you could hear her in pain screaming my wrist you're going to break my wrist and he did not care got on top of her put the handcuffs on and then she was sent to jail for apparently uh, uh, um, not wanting to be arrested officers are not allowed to do anything to you they're not allowed to put their hands on you they're not allowed to at all place you under arrest unless you did something illegal such as doing drugs illegally driving under the influence whatever if you do something illegal where you can hurt yourself or somebody else that's the only time they can put their hands on you you can cuss them out they cannot arrest you for cussing them out they cannot give you a ticket for cussing them out they cannot arrest you if you flick them off they cannot arrest you or give you a ticket for flicking them off they have no right whatsoever to put a hand on you unless unless you put a hand on them hit them or kick them whatever uh, if you put a hand on them they are allowed to arrest you other than that they don't have the right to search your car they don't have the right to touch you they don't have the right to just tell you to get out of your vehicle just because they feel like asking you so if they ever pull you over my advice is to go ahead and grab your phone and put it on recording you don't have to record in video just by you recording the voice that's fine because not only Will it help you in case their patrol patrol uh, patrol system is recording shit is you know edited out? You have your own proof of what the hell happened that day, and I find that she was so excited to go to this job and then she commits suicide three days later. I don't find that to be actually. I don't find that to. I don't. In other words, I can't see those two fitting in together, especially because she even said, let's take this to court because you don't have the right to do what you're doing. And the cop said, OK, I don't care. Do it. Take it to court. But again, um, the fact that she was going to take it to court and she had her rights violated, that would have helped her out. But I don't understand why she would commit suicide in jail. And and here's another thing every single jail every single jail has a certain type of safety for people not to do this so if she committed suicide which I'm not saying she did because I don't see why she would why would you have things inside the jail where they the inmates or the people that are incarcerated could hurt themselves with something that's what it doesn't fit so either it's the jails fault if she committed suicide why she, it's it's either their fault because she committed suicide because they shouldn't be having this kind of crap in the jail cell to begin with and i mean again i don't see why she would try to commit suicide especially knowing 
that she was going to have a job in the next, I don't know, week or so, why would she commit suicide if she was excited to work for this place? She was excited to go back to where she graduated from. So I know I'm, I'm jumping all over the place, but I just want to get my, my attention on this, my opinion on this, because I don't feel like officers should take advantage of someone just because they feel like they're the kings, like they have power. Because without us, they wouldn't be ha getting paid. Because we as taxpayers pay their bills. In, in other ways uh, but they're here to help us to save us not to hurt us or kill us because there's a lot of officers out there that are just getting away pretty much with murder because they're over here um because they're all oh, i'm just can't even i'm just out of words of how frustrated how mad i am and some of these officers are just racist and i feel like this officer just because they feel like they are powerful and somebody's a minority they're gonna go ahead and take advantage but i know for a fact this young lady knew her rights she knew what was going on and she knew what was wrong and the fact that the officer just said that no that she was wrong that he knew what he was doing that it's his rights to do what he was doing that just makes me think this dude does not know one thing or two about the law. Which brings me to my last point. Some of these officers don't know the law, don't know the law that yet they get hired. And they do their shit. They hurt their people. And it hurts me seeing other people get hurt for the nonsense other people decide to do. So once again, guys... Um, if you ever do get pulled over and you feel like your rights are being violated, you have the right, you have the right to press charges to that officer or including the, the police department. And I hope that this man loses his job because right now he's just at a desk working i hope this dude loses his job and can't get a good job anywhere so thank you guys for watching and i'm sorry if i sound frustrated if i sound really mad but it's just that watching people like this make me mad and once again I'm, i do apologize if you're an officer and watching this i don't mean it towards you i just mean it to those officers that take advantage of people Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.